Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and I want to talk about this a hole in the ocean that could lead to a, a mega thrust earthquake and a massive tsunami. Yesterday, I was talking about the earthquakes in that video that we've had some popping up in the Caribbean, for example. We we're just chatting about it, but I had a lot of questions about the hole that was found in the Pacific Ocean. So I wanted to show it to you. This is from the University of Washington. They put down a camera into the Pacific and they found this hole. Maybe the first time they found anything like this. Think of a glass of water. Uh, if there's a hole at the bottom of it, the water would seep out. But this here in the ocean, stuff is actually coming up in this hole could be the signs of a mega thrust earthquake down the road or really at any point and that's what they're researching and I put together a whole video on this and the possibility of a tsunami across the Pacific or elsewhere in the world on Earth QC so I'll put that in the uh, comments right at the uh, top of that it's in my description on the uh, page as well so on YouTube go to Earth QC I want to show you this the violent earthquake over 9.0 that it does really have the potential of creating uh, and uh, the kind of expansive nature nature of it in the tsunami threat out of it. It is a real thing. They found it. This is in the Pacific. There is a hole in the Pacific that they are studying. In my opinion, it is good news. The more we know, the more we could get advanced warning about things. So head over to Earth QC. I've got that on there. But I want to take care of the weather as well because a lot of us need water with those ongoing water shortages. You see here this orange shading. That is the dry air coming back. Now still a chance of some rain today, say Belize, for example. There is still that chance, but that dry air is starting to move in as expected so we knew not everyone was going to get rain we talked about that together but at least some of us did yesterday and you get back toward uh trinidad tobago saint lucia barbados uh montserrat dominica we'll see some spotty showers grenada saint vincent and the grenadines saint kitts and nevis uh watching that so let me get to the forecast let's dive into what we're going to see this is uh today so this is this afternoon and you see a little bit of green but a better chance of some rain again guyana and Suriname. we need to get the rain in spots and i know our farmers out there if you work in agriculture agriculture uh, or you just need food or you do it yourself uh, we've had the problems again we are way too dry in spots the best chance will be uh, Suriname Guyana even spotty showers uh, over toward uh, Trinidad but Jamaica Haiti Dominican Republic still with that old front my friends in the Bahamas still some clouds spotty showers at times today with that front that is uh, moving by so watching that over toward uh, Freeport and Nassau in a spotty shower possible Mexico and Belize but that rain chance is going down so this is by tomorrow two o'clock tomorrow still the same spot spots, Bahamas over toward parts of Cuba, near the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, on the edge of the British Virgin Islands and U.S. Virgin Islands, scattered showers, no big blob of rain, but some spotty showers possible. Trinidad and Tobago, we could see a couple showers trying to work in for tomorrow. And again, we have those ongoing wildfires. We'll see how close some of that gets to uh, Barbados and St. Lucia, some of the spotty showers, and then working our way into Thursday. Now look what happens, and this is what I'm going to keep an eye on with you. That old front moves off, but it leaves a little blob of rain. I need to see how this evolves, but as of now, still a better chance of rain. Turks, Caicos, Bahamas, Cuba, near Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, by the time we get into the end of the week on Thursday. And I'll see if anything does really try to spin up there. Sometimes it happens. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Some leftover moisture there for sure. So over the next couple days, best rain chance again, where I mentioned those brighter colors, we could get some spots getting uh, upwards of 50 millimeters of rain in some of these uh, purple shadings here or over two inches. But those are still isolated areas. Again, it's not a blob of rain. So we're talking about scattered showers. So not all of us get it. And just down the road, there may be a good amount of rain, but you may be dry, and that's how this goes. But the better chance, again, up here and again back through the Bahamas. But you see things getting a little bit wetter just south of Trinidad and Tobago. So I'll be seeing if that does uh, creep in somewhat, even over toward uh, Grenada. So Belize, rain chance about half and a half today. But again, it's starting to go down, and you see tomorrow and Thursday, that rain chance is down to 20%. Working to Jamaica, the rain chance stays elevated, though. Next few days, a 50 to 60% chance of those scattered showers and storms. Dominica, it's going to be the passing variety. A 20% chance easterly flow. You know how that goes. Spotty shower, same thing in Barbados. And that'll be the same thing in St. Lucia. Hit or miss showers, Barbados, about a 20% chance. Trinidad and Tobago, though, with a little more moisture like I showed you, uh, by tomorrow and Thursday, slightly better chance of rain. Not all of us, but a 30, 40% chance of some spotty showers tomorrow and again on Thursday. And St. Vincent and the Grenadines, you see that rain chance 20 to 30% with a passing shower chance in our outlook. So areas of rain possible today. I uh, track that for you. Rain chance going down more so tomorrow. Next week does look a little more active, so I'll keep an eye 
on another decent chance of rain in some spots. And again, that new hole that opened, or maybe it's not new, but the, the hole that they found uh, in uh, the Pacific, I'm talking about that over on Earth QC, showing you a scenario that if there was an earthquake, who would have some of the violent effects and the uh, tsunami effect and what the researchers are kind of looking at and how all of that actually works. So I have that over on Earth QC. Head there on YouTube, check out the uh, link. I'll put it, I'll try to pin it to the, I gotta remember, I'll pin it to the uh, top of the comments section. So thank you for your comments. Clearly, I get to those uh, best I can. I hope you have a good day ahead.